Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. Right, this is number two on the test labs. We've got the marine test lab, the multi test kit that tests for KH, magnesium, calcium and phosphate. 145 tests combined, like it says in the box, like the last one. Super little, easy bit of kit to use and it would be a nice little addition for your marine cabinet. Also, it's sponsored by NT Labs that have uh, given me this stuff to test out and try. I've already done some tests with it. Absolutely amazing, spot on. And let's get into the box and I'll show you what's inside. Right guys, I've put the boxes together. Now, last time we did the Marine Lab, the multi-test kit, okay, for the ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and pH. And there's a video, go back. I'll link it in the description if you're unsure and you wanna go back and purchase one of these guys and show you how to use it. Very, very simple to use. Right now we've got the other test kit, okay, which tests for our KH, calcium, phosphate, and magnesium, which are very, very special components that we need in the water for healthy growth of coral and all the little invertebrates and things that live inside a little reef. So what I'll do now is I am going to have a sip of coffee first, I think. That's good. A bit chilly again this morning in the workshop here, but we get all the reagents there. We've got the calcium. I'll just stand them up. We've got the magnesium. And we've got the KH as well. Okay, now it comes with a little sticker kit as well, which you can stick on top of your little cups, which go over each individual bottle of reagent in there. Okay, you've got a little test tube there also for your phosphate. Sticker goes on that. Inside, we've got our separate syringes. Now, make sure when you get the sticker kit, you put the magnesium sticker on one, the KH sticker on another one and the calcium sticker on the other one. You don't want to be mixing these guys up, okay? So it's imperative that you do that. You don't want to be putting different reagents in different things. If you get my meaning, we've got a five mil syringe and we've also got a one mil syringe, okay? As the different tests require different amounts of uh, water. We've got the magnesium reagent one, and two, we've got the calcium, which is the wrong way around, because I've already used it and I put it back the wrong way, which is one and two there, and we've got the phosphate. Number one and number two there as well. So we've got all those. As always, guys, give them a little shake before you do a test. Now I've got my little testy tube there full of aquarium water which I've taken now from that little Fluval Evo 52 litre tank from Fluval. This is the water out of there so we want to be testing. Last time we tested with this test kit and all the tests came out absolutely spot on which I was very very happy about and um, if you've watched the video like I say if you haven't pop back and watch it if you want to see the results of those tests and now what we've got to do is we've got to take off into each individual cap off the top of each bottle of reagent and put it down. So what I'm going to do is reset you up just on the test on the left and we can get into some of this stuff. Right guys, now as always with all test kits, make sure you give everything a good swirl around first in the pots. Make sure all the active ingredients and everything are all mixed up nicely. I tend to swirl them instead of shake them, otherwise sometimes you can get a lot of bubbles inside them, especially the KH one. It can foam up a little bit, so if you just swirl it around like that, you'll be fine. Give those a little swirl on each one and a little swirl or a shake on each one of the reagents in the bottles as well, okay? Now the first test we're gonna do is the KH test, okay? Now for that you need five mil of water. So you get your syringe and you dip it into your test water, draw up five mil like so into your test tube and squirt that into your KH little pot down there. Now all you need to do now is you have to get your corresponding syringe as well and you've got to fill it up with the reagent from that bottle first. So what you need to do when you get these the tips on, on so you've got to push that tip on there nice and firm okay put that into there and then draw up 
until you get to the 1.0 mark on the bottom of the plunger which is right there okay now you're going to get that little bubble there inside don't worry about that that's it's supposed to be like that okay so don't worry about that little air pocket don't try and fill that up it's supposed to be there now basically with this test all you do is you just give it a slow swirl like so and you add that reagent in a couple of drops at a time and as you'll see it'll go blue and you just keep adding it until it goes green just a drop at a time starting to go green go on green now and we want it to go yellow and I think that's going to do it one little drop on the end there and then what we do when that goes yellow and that's worked out on the chart there which is 0 0.20 which works out of a carbonate hardness of 8 okay so that's all right that's just what we want in there get your rest of your reagent now after you've got that write that down in your little log book okay squirt the rest back into there and then you can move on to the next test and that is going to be calcium right the calcium test we need one mil of water from our test subject there which i've put into each one of those so that's the calcium one that's the magnesium one pre-filled these with the reagent which we've now put away in the back of the box there okay up to that level again if you remember you got that air bubble there take that up to the top 0 0.1 or 1.0 number on the top of the syringe there on both of, on both of these I do them both at the same time just to save on a bit of a bit of time for you guys it's great fun doing tests if you don't like doing tests you're not in the right game you want to get another hobby because I love doing all these tests it's amazing stuff and you can have great fun doing it right the calcium test you need five drops of reagent one five of those in there number two five drops five drops of that give that a little swirl around making sure it's all dissolved into that water okay and then again pick up your syringe swirl it around it's going to go purple and you stop when it turns blue starting to go purple there you go it's gone purple just keep stirring it for a little bit and then add them very very slowly and there you go on there is 0 0.25 which is 450 parts per million which is just the job that's where we wanted that about 450 parts 400 to 450 parts per million that's what i normally do with my tanks which works out just the job so that's a good little sign there always wash these little guys out okay with fresh water afterwards and putting them back and it's exactly the same guys with the magnesium test here and i'll just run through it with you one mil of water in the test vial there and we need 10 drops of reagent one cap that off again give them a little swirl and we need five drops of number two couldn't be any easier guys could it really is a very very simple little kit to use and you just swirl it around mix it up well 
and then just start adding and this one is going to do exactly the same okay it's going to go from pink to purple to blue Just gone purple now. And now we've gone blue. There you go. And on that test there, we are 0 0.16. And that on the scale is 0 0.16. If we can have a look there, I'll just bring that down to you there. 0 0.16 is 1260 parts per million okay there you go and you can be anywhere it's a bit low as you can see it's up here that's the range that we want to be in between there anywhere in between there is going to be fine so that's right so it's a little bit low so i've got to up my magnesium slightly that's all but that's not to worry there's plenty of things on the market which we can we, we can up those with some powders or we can dose it in our little doses or whatever we want. I've got a doser that's going to do it, but we'll get into that on another story. Anyway, guys, there's your little kits. It's your test lab. I think they're fantastic little kits all in one. Brilliant to just put in your cupboard, as is with the test lab for the other parameters as well. For your ammonia, nitrate, nitrite and pH. So with one of those in your cupboard, in your little systems, or even a bigger system, you know you're going to be doing everything right and looking after your little creatures and critters that live in your tanks. Anyway, guys, I hope you like that part two. And as always, you're all stars. Love you loads. Take care. Thanks again for NT Labs for sponsoring me all this stuff. And I'll get back to you very shortly for another episode of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar.